The emergency department at Advocate Christ Medical Center is a very busy emergency department. Last year we had 106,000 arrive to our doorstep, and this year we're on target for over 110,000. We have trauma surgeons in-house 24-7, neurosurgeons immediately available to us, orthopedic surgeons. We're a stroke center, a center of excellence for cardiac care. Having a team so responsive to our needs improves the patient outcome immensely. We are the main trauma center for the south side of Chicago, southern Cook County area, as well as Lake County, Indiana. And we maintain a very high level of care because we do a good job of training the nurses, the staff that come through. We train EMTs and paramedics, nursing students, and obviously medical students and residents. So you said you've been feeling, having some chest pain, huh? Back in 2008, we opened up our simulation lab and we could put our residents through cardiac procedures or ortho procedures, trauma procedures, ultrasound. So when you come into that situation in reality, you're prepared for it and it makes a world of difference. The patient needs to go to the cath lab, stat. The emergency medicine program at Christ actually scored number one in the country out of 155 programs. 97% of the patients who enter this hospital as a, as a victim of trauma leave this hospital alive. That is an amazing achievement. They should all be very proud of it. Michelle Bruno was reunited today with the doctors and nurses who saved her life a decade ago. I looked down and I saw a rash on Michelle's legs and I knew that uh, Michelle could not wait. You could just tell a look on her face that she knew something was wrong and she just took me. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure after that I was gone. She just, she just passed out. She was crashing. They called and said, we can see the bacteria growing in her blood. I mean, that's how bad, that's how bad it was. They resuscitated her, pumped her up with like nine liters of fluid in a matter of 45 minutes. Everybody did everything perfectly. And I've been doing this 25 years and I feel like I've saved one person's life in my career and it was hers. It was so great that Margie and Dr. Turney and the whole medical team was able to know so quickly what was going on and to basically bring me back to life. Today I work on the adult surgical heart unit and what I learned as a patient is that as a nurse you're not only taking care of the patient but you're taking care of the family because they're just as scared. I'm just grateful that Michelle's here sitting next to me <laughs> and she wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all the doctors and nurses. To really watch these staff work so well together in people's most challenging moments is really awe-inspiring. The one unfortunate thing is that they've been forced to work in very cramped conditions. The volume is so high that patients are lined up in the hallways and it's so hard to try to treat someone in a hallway it's just so impersonal. Our emergency department will reach two to three hundred times our capacity, and so we'll have to go on what's called diversion, which means that we just cannot take any additional ambulances. In fact, last year we were on for well over 2,100 hours of hospital diversion, which equates to about 88 solid days of uh, accepting no ambulances. So. Renovation to the emergency department is actually critical. When we're done, we're going to triple our size. We should be about 20% bigger than a football field. So and it'll be fully enclosed for the ambulance. And so um, when they arrive, they'll be shrouded from the weather. Also, there'll be a lot more rooms to be able to accommodate the volumes. We will have a dedicated resuscitation area, expansion of the waiting room, more trauma rooms. What that does is it affords privacy and more timely care so we can get imaging done faster, we can make diagnosis faster, we can get definitive treatments and, and care done faster. I'm really looking forward to create a better environment for all of our staff and all of our patients during their ER experience. I just want to thank everyone in the emergency department for saving my life and giving me a second chance. If it wasn't for everyone working there and being as amazing as you all are, I wouldn't be here today, so thank you so much for everything. <laughs>